Another Sunday night of working on this. Mark is putting some cross bracing here and then putting another one and tying right down to there. Ryan and I put the rear suspension on and now let's go over here. We get to try our uh, street wheel and tire setup. We'll see how good he is at putting putting tires on. Too many drinks. Oh, 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 we did get the right wheel adapters. Look at that. Kind of cool to see. Oh, and no, that is not the suspension we'll be using, but we still have to cut and grind. So we put the old suspension back on it to mock up and put the body back on. Boom. Boom. So Mark just got done fabbing up these awesome crossbars there. Now to tack them in and then weld them up and we are getting well on our way to finishing the tubing for the front. There it is, tacked in. They look really cool. So Mark is over here. We have our mock-up hood on here, which we won't be using to so have a better one. But Mark is cutting out like he did over here. So they're soft. So, of course, we have our old A arms on, not our L and W fab ones yet, so they don't get all beat up from the part. But yeah, should look pretty stinking awesome. Shots taken out there. Of course, we'll make the cuts a lot more perfect, but these will at least get it mocked up to where we can. Uh, cycle the suspension through all of its travel up and down. As is typical, we're just making a lot of noise in the shop. But yeah, it looks pretty sweet. We just threw the front on today and that allows us to mock this, mock the suspension up. And then I got the L&W stuff there just waiting on some grease fittings. And then that stuff will go on and we can continue on. Pretty awesome tonight, Sunday night, another Sunday night with uh, Ryan. He's over getting, getting some things ready. Going to do a little bit of body working lesson. Um, I watched a couple of YouTube videos and started smacking out a couple of dents, but Ryan's gonna give us an actual in-person lesson and try and teach us. So that'll be kind of awesome. So what he's doing here is shrinking the metal. Trying to electrocute myself. Trying to electrocute himself, you know, working in a puddle of water, kicking the hose around. So what he does is he uses that shrinking disc. Can you show me that, Ryan? Yeah. So he uses the shrinking disc, that spins around heats up the metal and shrinks it so it takes out the high spots there. Just a little hammer so the you heat it up and then you use the old uh, wet, wet towel or rag and cool it off. Probably some strategy in that that I don't know but I'm going to learn. ideal to have all the paint off but we're just doing a quick lesson here so keeping it minimum as possible probably can't really see on video here the high 
eye spots getting quite a bit smaller. So I listen for the ring, so I know right where it's at. And I'll push up. Here you can see Ryan using a Sharpie across there. So that does two things. When you hit it with the shrinking disc, you can see where your highs and lows are at, or your highs are at. You can also, um, it works as a lubricant for the disc. Maybe I'll drop in a couple of photos of uh, that. Ryan's banging credentials so you could see how well he did his dealy bob. We can try the bullseye pick on this. So we're really good on those. What are you working on, Ryan? The 36 chef pickup. And it looks pretty amazing. I'll drop some pictures in. Ryan's crazy though, because on his, uh, unit he wants it to be what we're gonna try to go for bare steel oh it's gonna be bare steel it's gonna be bare <laughs> steel so there is no body work or no uh, filler no nothing no no uh primer absolutely nothing so he's got to have the sheet metal just absolutely perfect on it let's shrink again looking pretty good so you won't be able to tell super good on video but it is pretty perfect and then we just have to remember that this is a model a on a razor so it's gonna be somewhat rat rod ish I mean not too terribly hoopty but it doesn't need to be show quality um, and you can see a little bit of imperfection still, but when you run your hand over, it's pretty nice. So it, it is not going to be as perfect as Ryan's rig that he's building. Well, here you go. You're about caught up to speed with where we're at now. The body is mostly mounted. We've gotten a lot of the body work done. Mark put on those patch panels, uh, one on this side, one on the other side. Got the extra deck lid that we had mounted up. Just need to fix some gaps on it. And Mark added a patch panel in there because there were some giant holes. Here you can see coming up the uh, other patch panel. So it's, it's looking pretty good. Got a little bit more work to do, but we're getting real close with it. It's exciting to see it coming together. And hopefully here pretty shortly we'll be taking the body off getting it over to Adam so he can paint it. There it is with the wheels and tires. There's the dirt tires, which are now on those wheels. I'm pretty excited about the dirt look or off-road look and the street look. Both are going to be super awesome. If you like our video, like and subscribe.